Hello guys, this is video number five of our mini series reviewing the school management system written in Laravel. If you missed the first four videos, the link will be in the description below. And topic of today, finalizing the series, is about database optimization. And in fact, one typical mistake that I see junior developers make, and not only juniors to be honest, how they load the data. So let's take a look at a service class and service class method. It doesn't really matter if it's a service class or not, just the method of promote students. And in fact, there are a few things to improve generally in this method. So let's quickly run through those. I see even PHP Storm underlines that, and that's the benefit of using PHP Storm. I see it's obviously session, not section. So there should be session. I imagine the developer was typing sections and then from the muscle memory typed section here as well. And the same here or maybe even copy pasted, but I'm not sure. And the third line contains session correctly. But even that session flash, PHP Storm underlines that as void method result used. It doesn't make much sense to return session flash because it returns void, it doesn't return anything. And why would you return void from your service class? I talked about it briefly in the first video of the series already. That service class should return something, return some data, for example, created new record, returned true or false for success or not success, or probably throw an exception to be caught in the controller. But returning void from service doesn't really make much sense to me. But anyway, let's move on to the main topic of this video, which is this line. In generally, this method of promote students has this logic. We get the students by records that come from the controller. Then we do for each of the student and update the record for the new class ID, which is fine. For example, if they have 20 students in one class, the class ID will be new. So 20 SQL queries to the database, which is fine. But here we have this get all students which is, if we click here, a method in the same student service class, get user by role and load another relationship. Get users by role is a method in the user service in another service, which is eloquent query. So look what happens here. You get all the users by school with role student. You get the records, which means it downloads all the data for all the students in school, which may be a few thousand students. If we go back to get all students and then go back even further to promote students, then we filter those 2000 records potentially by our student ID array. So this is not an efficient way to load the data. Maybe for this particular example, it wouldn't cause major server crashes or performance issues because maybe the schools are quite small, but generally it's quite a bad practice to load the data from the database and then filter it in collection methods. I have in fact multiple videos about that over the years on this channel, but I wanted to reiterate that on this example, that instead of getting all the users, it should be something like if we go from user service, instead of using user service, it should be something like students equals user where school and then where in ID array, array of records, something like this. So then get happens only after the filter of where in and downloads only 20 students. So students for one class instead of students for all the school. And in the description below, I will link a few more videos about database optimization, about such typical mistakes that I see in other people's code. And I've made some of them myself, to be honest, in the past. And if you want to learn more about how to optimize databases, I have a few courses, at least a few courses around that. One of them is how to structure databases in Laravel. With this curriculum about examples of the databases and separate elements, and also have a course on better eloquent performance, talking about examples like this one in this video, with a lot of practical examples of n plus one query problem, optimizing memory and other topics. So I will link both of them in the description below. And that's it for the series of reviewing the school management system, which is a cool project to start with as a junior developer. It was, I guess, a great practice for the author, and you can learn something from that. Also, you can learn something to improve, but one of the best ways to learn actually is to look at the open source projects, trying to recreate them, trying to improve them and evolve in your career. Next, the channel will get back to the usual daily videos. And that's it for now. And see you guys in those other videos.